Hi, in today's video, I want to go over um, setting up a data source in WebLogic and um, in the app module. Here you have the app module, and if you come over to configurations, which I've already been to, and uh, you can press the pencil or you can just double click it, you can see that it's set to a JDBC, and this is the string that it provides. You can also set it to a URL, JDBC URL. I just want to show the difference in um, how it, the behavior of this, especially when you are um, un, uh, deploying an application. So I have a, a very simple HR app, you know, the typical one that I've been working with that has got a model view controller, typical um, <clears throat> three tables from the imp, and I have a main uh, thing here. So let's just uh, deploy this. And um, so note that you have two configurations here. And um, this one is the one that you should really be concerned with. <clears throat> so uh, when you have the JDBC data source set to this string here, um, it's very slow when you undeploy. All right, so here we have our screen coming up. And you can see it's chugging along here, which is good. Nothing, no errors yet. I shouldn't expect any of this, actually. And eventually you get to the screen. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just come over here and select undeploy. Now, you'll note that it's 3 minutes and 28 seconds, 28 minutes and 28 seconds, or 26 seconds. And we're going to wait a very painful minute, so I'm going to put it on pause. Okay, and uh, here we are. It's uh, a little bit later. Now, do do remember that this is 11.1117. Uh, I'm not sure if the newer versions still have this issue. Now, there is one quick solution, and you can change it to URL like this. Okay, and then when you deploy, and uh, I'll put it on pause until we deploy it. Okay, here we are. Go over to the application J developer and undeploy it, and you can see that it's all done very quickly this time. So that's good, but um, the one thing I don't like about this is that this is set to a JDBC URL, hard coded as it were. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this string and cut it down to this, and we're going to go out to Web Logic and we're going to save that. So let's just verify that that's stuck. JDBC HRDS. And um, I'm going to open up Firefox where I do all my work. Um, we have a few things set here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a data source. Now, the nice thing about this is is it's going to be exactly the same JDBC forward slash HRDS that we have in the application. Now note that um, what we're doing is we're creating a uh, data, data source within WebLogic so that the application can then send it up to uh, WebLogic and WebLogic will go, oh, I know that database, and it'll find that name, and um, it will... I think my local host will do. Uh, and this is the HR schema with the ultra secure. Now here you do the test configuration. Now do not do that because that could become a problem. Now, so we've configured it. Now one thing you want to make sure is that it's uh, targeted at a server. And you can go in and do this later too. Once, ooh, it did not work. Something happened. Interesting. Considering that the test worked, um, I'm probably better to do undo all changes here. Hey, this is really impressive. So let's can this video or not. Um, all right, let's try that again, huh? All right, so new. It's funny because I just did this. All right. I assume that's the one that I want. Now, actually, there is one thing that you should consider because this is for instance, con instance connections 
This is for rack. This is for service and connections. You know, so they give a lot of choices here, and you really need to know what your database is expecting. Um, and so let's try this again. ORCL localhost um, HR 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 next. This is kind of irritating with Firefox does that. Test the configuration. Next. Come on. Finish. Oh, this time it worked. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just show you what you have available here. You have all of that information. The connection pool, if you ever need to change the database, you can just change it here. And if you want to test it again that it's working, you come over to the, you click on the monitoring and then do testing and then click on default, default server. And there you go. Now apparently it worked. So I'm, I'm a little bit leery of this now that we had that failure, but uh, let's go over and check this out. And that looks good. I'm just going to close this now. All right. So we have this set to that. Um, and let's run our application. I'm going to turn it off for a minute. Okay, here's our application. It's out there. Um, we can change a record to prove that it's working. And um, now what we're going to do is we're going to come out here and just click kill that. And you can see that it does it quite quickly. So by having that set in WebLogic, we don't have to necessarily have this set to the URL and we're able to have it um, have it undeploy rather quickly. You're not sitting there killing yourself waiting for it to work. Now there was one test I wanted to make sure since we made the change here, I assume that this is still going to work. This is always red here. So let's make sure that this works too because it's nice to know you know, how everything behaves when you change things like this. And the assumption is, is that it's going to work. So um, you have your quick undeploy and your properly designated JDBC uh, Jindy uh, at the same time. So that's that. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.